And away we go. September songs. Post Equinox September. Stars tonight are lovely to behold, even a brief shooter streaking. Enjoying a glass of wine with Carl and Carlo, speaking of stellar curiosities, touching other subjects as well. Our host offers espresso with a whisper of Sambuco. This following Sicilian spags and balls. September Philosophy. Musing with the molders at MSM camp, soaking up a September sunrise with birdsong. How can one convey the rich reward this gives? How can one express joy encountered as one lives? Three post-equinox porch philosophers parlaying talk of great times past under chem-streaked sky. Amazed was I that they thought them clouds, or at best contrails turning blue to milky gray. They think me misinformed or worse. Yet, listen to what I suggested as a test to take of their water in the beautiful forest-shaded ponds, perhaps the soil they plant their crops in as well. What would they discover if indeed they do? What will they say to me if my swan song be true? Ah, but it was a spectacular September day, with ones I grew up with, loving every minute. Elders, Earth, and Everything Sad songs of elders ring out to ears deafened by distractions for vapid minds. One finds Samuel Barber's Adagio for Strings appropriate background music for such songs. It seems the moves on this chessboard of our current reality are for endgame. I came to this realization late in my life, a life spent in thrall to distractions of society. What piety I might possess is for Gaia, for I am humbled to be a child of hers. Of eloquent elders I have heard recently, Dr. David Suzuki put it out for all to see. However, blinded by light of the right, of the gilded few, the many fail to observe. Common among the admonishments of the elders is the theft of legacy, theft of future generations. So it appears the sad songs of said elders are in fact swan songs in September. Wolf and Howls. Wolf and Howls at the Harvest Moon tonight in dog dreams of trees and streams and bitches. They, in turn, howl at the sound of his howl, making the night full of canine sing-song. I long for a clearer view, so I may howl for Felice as I promised her I would forever. Rain falls upon my bare skin as I seek the cloud-shrouded glow I know well. I tell myself she will not fail to find me as I prepare my nocturnal homage to her. Perhaps I may refer my gaze to brighter stars, yet to find shine their way to my humble heart. With a start I quaff Belgian stout ale, loving forever the liquid chocolate flavor and mule kick. The trick, as I understand it, is to love the moment. Some foment fear of masses they claim to serve, yet deserve a harsh baptism in flow ponds. Bonds are broken, the oaken yoke falls empty upon fallow fields, clear-cut forests, and moribund rivers. Givers succumb to the takers, the makers of misery for the many yet to come into their own realities. Banalities of ad men, political puppets, and banksters stir a foul stew spilled upon pristine places, soiling faces of the future as the swan sings its song. Wolfen howls at the moon tonight. Au revoir.